Da -da 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 -da. Okay, cool. Should I do an intro? Maybe I should do an intro. Hold on. Alright guys, I'm just gonna do a quick um quick quick how to video right. Um it's this is not a pro video. The boys are asking me a lot of a lot of questions and, and stuff to do with uh eye racing Photoshop and and whatnot. So look I'm gonna show you real quick on how I do things. Um and hopefully it helps. If I if I go too fast, I'm trying to do it real quick. I'm not trying to drag it out and make it a twenty minute video or something, but look, just um have a squeeze and hopefully it helps someone. Alright, Lizard. Yes. Alright. First things first, basically if you want to go to a holding or whatever, you're in eye racing and whatever, we'll get to the Photoshop bit in a minute. Now if you go into test, alright, so let's let's start from scratch here. This is your your, your main screen here and then what am I I'm looking at your live stream, nothing happening. Yeah, it'll come up in about 30 seconds, so this is going to be difficult for you. It's probably easier for you to mute me in Discord and watch the stream and then just type in a question or, or jump back in when you want to ask a question. Right. Um, otherwise, you're going to hear me twice. Uh, one delayed, one not. Yeah, got you. Mm. So it'd probably be a little bit uh, easier if you just watched the live stream sure. and then just jump back in when you have a question saying, oh, oh no, hold up, what was that you did there? So, um, cool, cool. So basically, <laughs> on your main screen that you have here, um, actually mute me in mute me in Discord, and then just unmute me when you um, want to ask a question. Is it be easier for it? When you're in the main screen, you're going to go to basically test. This is the easiest way I find it. You can go through my cars and all this bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Okay. You pick on what car you want. You want to do, oh, okay, I want to do a skin for a VF, V8. Doesn't matter. The track don't mean shit. And you hit the paint option. Now, when, when this loads up, when it finally fucking loads, you'll see this. It's called download car template. You can download this car template. Right, and it will give you everything to do with this car. But while I'm on this page here, we cannot set the wheels any different colour in Photoshop or anything like that. So there's this little tab here that says wheels. Click on this. Right, and then you've got your colours. Okay, you can change to red, blue, whatever. And then you can write in the actual car, the colour code um, for it. Right, um, that, that comes in handy when I show you in Photoshop how to get that code of a colour scheme on your car. So after you download these templates and whatever, it says that because I haven't hit save, it'll download files. And this is the file here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this in Photoshop and it comes up in Photoshop and this is what it is. Now when you go through it and stuff like that, uh, you have certain layers in here. And what I'll show you, these these are standardly turned off. I haven't done anything in this file, this is a standard file. You've got an iRacing logo, it just shows that iRacing owns this bullshit. A wireframe, this is, comes in handy, um, because basically you can see which part of the car is what. There's your mirrors, there's your air vane at the top, there's your door handles for this side, there's your door handles for that side, there's the pillar. Um, some of these things are already black and it won't go. These, it defines the lines around the brake lights um, for you, and not to mention, it's good to line things up. So when you're trying to get, these are your spoiler wings, air vent, these are standard colours that won't change, your bonnet, oh your bonnet, your bonnet and your bumper, um, and there's your, your air splitter, headlights, and that's the behind the grill bit, um, and the splitter, it's behind the grill, and that's the bit behind the grill obviously, because you can see the grill, I don't have to explain that, alright, so it's always handy to have the wire mesh, when you're about to save as, always turn it off because otherwise it will show up in the car. Uh, next thing that they have is car patterns. So you turn this on, it has car patterns, and this is all the patterns that eye racing are standard, right? So you can turn them off, and you know, we could, right, cool, I want that one, but I want to change that color to whatnot, and blah blah blah. I can show you that later, but it's just standard. Um, Photoshop stuff. So if you understand Photoshop, then you'll know how to cut these out and whatnot. 
Um, all right, so I'm just showing you these files for the start and how to how to you know get this uh, a starting image as such as I should say. All right, so let's let's just find one real quick. It's pretty pretty simple. Oh, here we go. So what I'm going to do is if you understand Photoshop and how layers work, let's move that. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to get grab this one and we're just going to put it between them two there. Right. So I've created a layer and we'll put car patterns right there. These two I don't fucking know what the hell I mean. Alright, so this is what we've got. We've got a layer and we've got a colour. Let's, let's just go colour. Any colour. Fuck it. Let's go blue. And basically on this layer there's one thing you can do. Either you can go like this and just paint bucket tool and paint it in. It's easy as fuck. Or let's go a different colour so it defines it. Alright. Or you can do a new layer. So let's take this back. So if we go uh, new layer and we'll do a layer mask to it. Click on this one. Click on this little selection tool. Hold down shift to grab multiples like uh, this right, so this basically grabs all the blue right, then we can basically just go to this one here and then B for brush yep. you won't see it but just paint everywhere where you've selected see this and then we can just paint this layer uh, let's say fucking green right. deselect that control D is deselect oh, fuck off I'm trying to do it quick because I can't don't want to drag on control I to invert those are green stripes. Alright, so that means, uh, so this is not selected, it's just the base colour of the car, so let's change the base colour so we can define it to be different. Alright, well let's make it a black car, green stripes. So the base is always the base colour of the car, and then these parts are the parts that you're putting on top of it, so decals, anything like that, alright? So what we're going to do is, I've created a layer mask, and I've cut out using this, as the quick section uh, selection tool to make the stripes so let's turn this back on again turn this green layer off and this is what we've got okay let's let's see um that's probably not the best color to use but let's see if we can get this stripe down the middle here and the back let's say we want to make it purple so we'll do the same again so we'll create a new layer with a layer mask and we'll just turn it off for now and then we'll go back to this layer here, grab the quick selection tool, grab that bit there, hold down shift, that bit, that bit, that bit, yeah. and that one. And we'll go to this layer mask here, not the colour of it, the layer mask bit. So what bit you want to show, what bit you don't want to show. Hold up, I'm, I'm running late here. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. You can go back to the start when you want. Alright. So this is what we've got now. The layer's turned off, it won't let you draw if the layer's turned off. Okay, so uh, then we're going to get black paint and white and just fill in the bits we want, right? So you'll see it show up there, that's the bit we want, okay? So what we're going to do from that is we're just going to hit Control i to invert it, Oops. Control d to deselect it first, Control i then let's make it what colour, let's... Uh, Black car, we've got green stripes, let's put some blue, just for the fucking shits and giggles. Paint that layer blue. So when we turn this one off and that one on, we have green stripe with blue. Alright, so fine, that's cool. You've got that going. I don't don't mind whatever you want. Okay, let's let's put something in it. Let's get a logo or something. Uh, let's go with sim real sim accessories. Okay. This is easy, you just grab your file manager, 
Grab the logo, drop, drag, bang, done. Okay, you're in transfor yeah. uh, transform mode because it's got a little tick up there, so we can stretch it, whatever like that. Okay, so what I'll show you is you can make it taller, you can make it sideways. This one makes it go like this, all right, and this one turns it around. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back to Control Alt Z is to keep going back, yeah. by the way. So when you grab a grip tab like this, oh, you can move it around. But if you actually hold shift, it keeps the aspect ratio of it. All right? Oh, yeah, thanks. Obviously I'm not on now. sideways ones, I'm but let's just try and get this back to normal. You can, if you hold shift down, it keeps the aspect ratio so it doesn't go it like that. All right? So let's chuck it on the side here. Uh, alt, alt plus scroll in is zoom in. Space, uh, space bar is, is and left click is pan. So it's only two you need to know on the view controls. All right, so you can put this. I'll just put it here just for shits and giggles. All right, and hit. Yeah, that's where I want it. Okay. So now you have a layer over here called words. All right. So I'm going to click on this layer because I want to select this. And I'm going to go up to the move tool up here, right? And this is a fun bit of it. You just hold down Alt and drag it. Right? Now you're copying it. Okay? Now it moves everywhere and it's not lining up. You'll have to line it up by eye. So if now, because you've already pressed Alt and dragged it away, you can let go of Alt. And if you press Shift, it locks it in line with that one. So we'll just put it up here, like that. Just created a new layer with that on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this layer because it's upside down and go edit, transform, uh, flip horizontally. No, wrong one. Always mess it up. Transform, flip vertical. Oh no, it was the right way. Uh, edit, transform. I oh know, we just gotta rotate it, you dumb shit. Alright, so, forget that. So, you can see this little angled tab up here. If you go here, that stretches it bigger and smaller, obviously. Now, if you see this angled one like this, what it is, if you hold down your mouse button, you can rotate it. Now, if you hold down shift, alright, it'll put it in little increments, it'll have a snap to it. Alright. So you know you can do it at 180, click, yep, cool. That's what we've got. Now, the thing is with this is the file names. So I say, let's, I want to see this on the car. So the file names is what we get to now. And this is the easiest way I've found on how to do it. All right, so this is in iRacing Paint V8 Supercar. So all your paint is in here. I'm going to go into the V8 Super Hold. Holden. So we're in the Holden one. Now here is a TGA file. I've already loaded this in. Usually, sometimes you might have none in here, nothing at all, um, whatnot. I copy the main template file, so this is the file we're working on, into here, and then um, I do things this way. So this is car underscore, um, and then yours. Steam ID, fucking your uh, ID for iRacing. So uh, you can go to account and find all all your shit. It doesn't matter. But look, if you actually go into paint, the last race you ran, you'll probably find one saying, "Look, there's car two seven six one five four. That's my ID number. That's the Ford." So if you go into McLaren, you'll find whoever you're in a race with. This is their paint. So there's two seven six one five four. There's me. That's my car. Um, and if we open that quickly, it's, there we go, it's the hunting the sim bits for you car. Um, so, you have to save it, or save that file, as your car number. So the easiest thing I've found, is you actually copy this, and you actually change the template file number. So you hit save as, delete that, and you call it car underscore 276154 is my number as a Photoshop file. So I'll save that, hit OK. So it'll save as a Photoshop file. So when I hit File, Save As, I just go down to Targa, 
TGA, hit OK, OK, overwrites it. Cool. So now, in my files, I have that car as my paint. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly jump into iRacing. Here I am here in iRacing. <coughs> I'm on Pan Mount Panorama as that test thing I said before. <coughs> I'm going to show you what I do. I'm just going to hit test real quick. Just pull out of the pits. Just take it easy here. This is the good bit. So this saves a lot of fucking around and drama, okay? I'm just going to pull up, pull up about here. Just wait here for a sec. I'm going to hit escape. So when I come back to here, I'll fast forward the video. Oops, too far. All right, pause the video. Okay, make sure you're in rear chase, far chase, or chase, or whatever. Yeah, chase or rear chase. It does work on everyone else, but this was just easier. So if you press down on this screen, control F12 comes up with this. All right, don't worry about this bullshit. Then hit control Z. It makes the, the camera move. So press spacebar to get rid of that shit off the screen. And you can move around with the ASD keys like you're playing like Rust or something. Right click zooms out, left click zooms in. Okay. And because you've saved that under your car file, that car underscore 276154, that's my ID number, I can hit control plus R and it will refresh the paint. So now it's in, in the game and I can go, oh, okay, cool. That's the paint we just made. Oh, that's sweet. No worries. Okay. Oh, look, the blue doesn't go over the boot. I want to change that. So that's alt tab back into Photoshop. Go into our layer here, our blue layer. We'll go onto the layer mask because the layer mask is what we want to show, what we don't want to show. Okay. So we're in brush. So I'll press B for brush. All right. We need white obviously it's white will show you what it is I'm gonna scale it so if you want the brush bigger or smaller you hold down alt right click and left and right up and down goes the opacity or the hardness to it so if it fades on the end or not I always have it 100% and uh, you go left and right all right the next thing with this is as well if you accidentally press caps lock the circle disappears okay just remember that so if you don't have a circle the circle means that you don't, you just press caps lock, it'll come back, right? So you actually know what you're painting. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm just going to paint this in here. See, I'll go to the all the way to the edge where, um, see, this bit here doesn't mean shit really, because if you turn the wireframe on, the boot actually ends on this line here. So it, does, it doesn't really matter, right? So this bit doesn't mean shit. You, know, you don't have to paint it in if you don't want to, all right? Go over this side. I'm just paint this bit in here. Right. Now all I have to do is hit File, Save As, TGA, Save, Overwrite, OK. Alt Tab back into the game, Control R to reload the paint. Hey presto. I forgot to turn the wireframe off, but that's a good example on what not to do. Um. All right, so that's how you put something in. Um, it, it's a good way to, to find things. So if, you, if you're just on this layer here and you're like, oh, I don't know what this bit is here and this bit is here, let's just have a seat. I think these are actually matched, not that, them two. So if you just go hit file, save as, and go, oh yeah, Targa, sweet. It's already set the file names because the Photoshop name is the same as that, so you don't need to worry about it. You just hit OK. Control R. Oh, cool. There's the one with the dot. There's the one that's painted in. Oh, and there's the other one that's painted in. So we know that that's the inside one. That's an inside one. Yeah, as, I, as I was saying, that's it's opposites. So if we paint this one in, and you turn on the wireframe. You won't see it because of the black background. You just turn it off if you need to. And then to draw something up to a line, say this line here, and I'll, I'll show you with a window as well. All right. So if you actually select something like that, just hit Control D to deselect it.
because if you drag it or try and get rid of it, it'll fuck up your drawing. And it's bullshit. So you basically go up to this tool here, right? Or this one, doesn't really matter. This one you can just free draw yourself. It's handy when you're doing odd shapes. Okay. And this one is just a square. So in this case, it doesn't really matter. I'll use this one because it's better. I basically just draw a line straight down because I want it to be two different sizes, two different colours. Go back to here, go to brush, I'm on that layer, white, so it's going to draw all this up to that line. You can't draw over it because you'll select it inside it. Deselect. And you go to this one, around about there, cut through here, done. Okay, hit brush. That bit in there, all right? Deselect. Don't worry about that because you're not going to see it anyway. Okay. Another thing is, if you're trying to do two, uh, where's a good example of it? Uh, here's a good example as well. So look, like if you're trying to do two things. So if you're trying to paint both sides. So I want to paint this window thing at the same time as keep a clean clean line from the bonnet. All right. So I'm on this layer here and I want blue. I'm going to paint this bit blue, okay? But now you can see that line on the bonnet. So if I hit Control shift i it inverts the selection. So I'll go to this layer and paint the green up to the line. You know that it won't go over and won't bleed into the blue, so you can deselect it and you know. So basically what you're doing is you're creating the selection on the other side so that it can go up to that line as well. So it keeps a clean line between both things. I'll just delete this out of the way. Go back to this layer. Get rid of this out. Alright. I painted our little thing. We're going to turn our base back on. A wireframe off. Alright. And then we're going to go file. Save as. Alright. TGA. Save. Okay, I want to replace it. They do it. Whatever. I don't really give a shit. And hit Control R. Reloading game. And there's our wings. Perfectly blue. Done deal. Alright. That's how I do things. In Photoshop. Any other questions? <laughs> uh, I think I've covered a fair bit. So it's enough to uh, uh, keep you going. So this here as well, the wireframe. Oh, let's change the car to white. It makes it easier. So it's this paint bucket tool. White. Selected on that layer. Car's white now. Okay. Real sim racing. Oh, actually, I'll show you this while I'm here. Sometimes when you load things in, uh, like this words copy, so this logo here, it'll come in as a smart object. And smart object means, oh shit, I can't see real. YouTube logos do this as well. Uh, Twitch logos do it. Um, most things that you input most would be smart objects. So this means if you go down to this little little icon under words, so you can see that I've selected that. This little icon, you double click on it and it'll say this warning, fuck off. I don't like warnings, whatever. Go into this, paint bucket tool, change it to black and go, I want real to look black. Alright? Then you just close out of it, hit yes, and it'll update all of them smart objects in the drawing to be black. Alright? Let's change the base to another colour. Just for now. Alright. Now here's another one. If you set, this is why I set everything up on masks like this, because I can change this colour anytime I want to whatever I want. So if I say the paint bucket tool, if you hold down left mouse button, it gives you a gradient tool. So we go to gradient and we go, I want some freaky ass rainbow fucking shit happening straight down the middle of the car. So basically you're just changing that layer all the way down the car to be highlighted like that. Alright, the green one, let's do it again so it matches down the side of the car. Sweet as. Alright, file, save as, as usual. Targa, you don't really, yeah, save as, save, save, save. Next one, let's go back into here, hit control R. Car should look completely different. So it is a simple, simple thing.
to create paints. It is simple. It's not hard, it's not too like entailed of what you need to do and and whatnot. As long as you understand one layers layers, 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 L A I R S like L A Y E R S, dickhead. Come on. Layers in Photoshop. How to do masks selections obviously because of this what bit you need to select if you move it up top here you can uh, fuck dickhead put it up top it's above everything so it'll always show through all right so like if you wanted to add uh, across the spoiler here or down the boot or whatever you just you go okay cool i want to select that bit there because i'm on that layer turn it off you know go to this bit paint it in fucking more Getting sidetracked in, but. Oh, deselect. Um, save. Uh, don't forget to click save here and there because you're not actually saving the Photoshop file. You're just um, saving the target file. And when it comes to, like, if you, if you fuck up or something crashes, then um, it's an issue. That's the number plate bit at the bottom. I just painted in. <coughs> so look, if if you just if you know about layers and how to stack layers and how to manage things with selection tools, so selections um, and the layers, how the layers work, you're fine. You've got everything you need to know um, is is right there. And it's it's easy as to um, to go and do anything you need. So look, that's um. That's my general gist of how to get cars and, and whatnot and paint cars and how I, I personally do it um, in you know, racing. Uh, a few other things I'd mention. If you have trading paints uh, running on your machine, obviously it will overwrite every time. It'll overwrite that car 2761544 file if you've selected something in trading paints to run. Now, I always create a folder new folder or whatever um, and I always put after I'm finished obviously so I'll put that file in there and that one and rename it say you know sims fucking rainbow because that's what it is at the moment sims rainbow so that means that you have the photoshop file photoshop file so you've got all the layers and all the bullshit and you've got target file because if you just open the target file and try and work with that you're just painting over a simple fucking thing and it's not going to work well then you have to like a gradient to paint over a gradient you'll be here for a day so that's why I set it all up in individual layers I can change the color of this car on the fly um, if you have a teammate that likes to paint in your car you just change the color um, you know and it's so easy to do like uh, I'll show you one just as an example um, where is the Joker one was done in five minutes not even ten minutes uh, got Gump's VF, uh, Gump's new one, here's his green one I think, yeah here's his green one, now this is a simple thing, it's the same as my blue one, um, and if you go, don't worry about the layers, it'll probably confuse the fuck out of you, all it is is two colours, um, you know, it's, it's two base colours, so basically to change it back to say anyone else's, say, Lizard's car's goldy yellow. Um, so let's go to a kind of a gold colour. That'll do. Um, you know, to change it to that, where did you do that? And then this one. Not rainbow anymore. That. Now it's the lizard's colour. So, um, set it up in layers makes it so much easier when you're fucking around in game um, you know it's just it's, it's a lot quicker to change things on the fly whatever you need so well, that's an introduction or, or how I do things in paint uh, not paint fucking photoshop so look usually with all the words and the logos and whatever I put on the car I put it on a new folder so this is a new folder thing down here and a uh, group whatever you want to fucking call it can rename it by double clicking on it, just say overlay. 
And that's what I usually call it, overlay and personal. Personal will have all your name writing and all that bullshit. So when you just want to see the colour of the car, you can turn it off, everything off. And it just shows you the colour of the car. And if you just want to turn it on and off, okay. Next thing as well with these, I usually tend to um, give these things a drop shadow and stuff. I'm not even going to get into that at the moment because it's just a pain in the ass. Um, but there's certain ways you do it. I'll show you very, 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 very fucking quickly. Okay. Um, start a new layer, new layer mask, and I'll put it just over this one because I want to be on top. I'm going to put this one black. Just for shits and giggles. Paint it. Yeah. Cool. So when I turn this off, it should be black. Yep. And we're just going to invert this. So you can't see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint over this to show which bits we want black. So we're going to go to here for a sec. And we're just going to make these two stripes. So we're going to select the... We'll just select this one for now. Fuck it. Alright, like that. Then we're going to go to this layer. Turn this one off. Zoom in. If we, when we get the square, only when we get the square, we hover over, we're still on the selection tool, when we get the square, it means we can move the selection. Without moving anything in the drawing, we just move the selection. So we just move it out a bit, then brush tool. Like that. It doesn't matter if you fill it in, because it's behind it. It will, well, it will be behind it. Deselect. Drag this layer, put it over there, now we've made lines. Okay. And turn it on again. Not this one. Turn it off. Go to this. Paint off this one. Paintbrush. Oh, we've got to move it. I'm just gonna move it down the size of the stripe that we want. Brush tool. And it in, deselect. It just gives it that added effect rather than having this bullshit. It just looks fake as fuck. Let's, oh, well, I mean, I'll quickly do it to show you the effect. Why would my car be gone? I save it in documents and then it's white. My car's not showing up in. What do you mean? Well, I um, change my car and everything and then save the thing to documents with car and my number. And then now it's just back to the basic car and our racing colour. Is? Yeah. Alright, one. Are you in practice? Try or whatever. I mean, test. Yeah, your test won't show um, your paint skins. No. What do I have to go into? Uh, is it you testing on your own? Yeah. Ah, something's wrong with your files then. So, look, I'll just quickly go to the bonnet and we'll, you'll see the difference instantly. What this makes. This looks way better. Rather than that. Alright, well look, I'm going to leave the stream or whatever at that point there. Um, if you have any questions, you have any, like you want me to show a specific thing, Write it on the comments of the YouTube video. I know it's on Twitch as well, so I'm streaming two places at the same time. It's writing on Twitch or, or YouTube. Tell me what you want me to show you, and I'll do it real quick like this. This this thing is actually because i got two of my mates sitting there listening and actually watching what I'm doing because they were asking so many questions. I thought, fuck it, I'll just show you in one video, and then you can rewind it and whatever and pause it. I think I've cleared all the basics for that. Gump? Yeah. You got everything you need to know? Oh, I missed the start, but I'll have to watch it. Yeah, that's YouTube. cool. What about Lizard? Lizard, you around? I think he's muted. The microphone, I think. Uh, he muted me in Discord, I think. That's what I said. 
Uh, oh well, that's a that's a good start, David. So, um, yeah, if you've got any questions? Hit us up. Um, you know, best thing is start with these standard patterns, um, and then go from there. You know, you can pick bits out of them. So, you know, if you just like all these layers on, so be above them. So, you know, if you just like if you just like a couple. If you'd like to like that one and take bits out of it and take bits out of the next one or whatever, you know, it works. Turn that off. Yeah. Oh well, go have some fun, go paint some shit. Turn it all back on. But yeah, focus on learning layers and uh, what's on top to what's on bottom and it's about the end of it. Base is always on the bottom. Is the base color of the car, and then you go up from there. Other than that, it's war time. Other than that, I'll see you in game. As my usual little sign off there. But uh, yeah, shoot me a message if you if you need anything. Cheers.